hello friends welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video in this video we are going to see Daikin vrv3 is showing the error j7 as you can see all these are the indoor remote sensor which are showing the error j7 and this is for the vrv3 this is wire remote controller for cassette unit and all the units are showing the error j7 j7 means nothing but it's a system error due to the outdoor issue we are getting this error and this is the vrv3 outdoor unit as you can see this is vrv3 let's see the display what it's showing in the display if you see s2p lights is constant and s3p lights is constant this means there is a system error there is a issue in the outdoor unit that's why it's showing this error as you can see this is our connector for all the sensors there are five sensors in our vrv3 16 hp outdoor unit and you can see there are six five uh, sensors connected in one connector you can see here now we are going to check all these sensor one by one if the resistance are not correct the ohms are not correct it means that sensor is faulty as you can see we are checking the first one in first one we are getting 11.64 it means this sensor is correct good one and the second one we are checking is 12.14 this is also good and now we are checking the third one third one is showing around 13.05 this is also good now we are checking the fourth one and i think there is a fault in this liquid light sensor there is a fault in liquid light sensor this sensor is faulty now we are checking the last one let's see what is the reading it's showing let's see what is the reading it's showing on this last sensor last sensor if you can see is showing around 12.55 it means this sensor is also correct the faulty sensor one is, is the fourth one liquid line sensor you can see there is no reading for this one it means our liquid line sensor is faulty once we replace this liquid line sensor then our unit will be working we don't have the five sensors that's why we are going to replace only the discharge coil sensor as you can see this is the place where the discharge coil sensor is fixed and as you can see here this has been shot due to that it's showing the error j7 in the indoor unit due to this small sensor the system is not working and this is the faulty sensor which already we have removed because we are going to change only the discharge sensor liquid line sensor instead of changing all five sensors we are going to change only this sensor and you can see this is the used sensor because we don't have the spare part that's why we have used the used one for the temporary base and you can see these are the two points which we are going to put inside the connector properly which we are going to fix in the connector as you can see first point and second point we have fixed in the connector after fixing then we have to cross check by applying little bit force if it is fixed properly or not as you can see now all sensors are placed fixed properly in the connector now we are giving the way the wire should go easily up to the discharge liquid line sensor as you can see this is the second hand sensor now we have replaced the sensor after replacing the sensor we start the system and after that it was working normal as you can see in this video the fan is rotating in his high rpm and the compressor is also running as you can see the display also is normal is showing normal s3p light is constant this means there is no error in the system and our system is working totally normal if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon